crutch. Don't listen to him. Hey, Dad. Kevin. You know, I've been doing some heavy thinking since Grandpa died, and I wonder, is there a place in the cemetery where I can plug in my amp? What? And is there money in the budget to get suits for the other guys in the band? What the fuck are you talking about? You know, for the song you commissioned me to sing at the cemetery tomorrow. When the hell did I do that? On Tuesday! Oh, fucking Tuesday. You said you were proud of me! Uh, now you're just making shit up. <sighs> I even figure out how to write a bridge! Fucking cock knob. Oh, hey, Mom. I wasn't doing anything. What's happening? Guy you married is a dildo. That's what's happening. Oh, Kevin, can you just... You need to go back in there and remind him that he specifically asked me to write a rocking, uplifting anthem, Sky Grandpa. And I did. Kevin, no! But, Mom! Give your dad a break, okay? He's going through a lot right now. He just lost his father. We all need to set aside our own feelings and be there for him. So, are you gonna talk to him about my song, or what? Kevin, come closer so I can hit you. Maureen, I've got a surprise for your face! Oh, Dad! I found one of those dead guy suits! Business in the front, bathroom in the back! That's my boy! Hey, Jimmy, what you doing? Early Christmas shopping! Wanna hop in and get some dead guy shoes? Nah, I better keep my clothes nice. My dad's returning them on Monday to a regular discount circus of savings. Dad! I found one of those fucking dead dogs rich ladies wear around their necks! Oh, hi, Bill. Hey, when are you gonna realize what you're lost in me? I don't care. Hey, I'm a catch! My mom was a 36 double G! Fuck you, red heavy piece of shit! I just found out that church is a scam. You don't have to do good things as long as you get last rites before you die. Oh, yeah. I'm banking on that. It's all about extreme unction. I'm gonna be a priest. I thought you wanted to be a cop. I'm gonna be a cop and a priest. That way, I can fuck up all the shit I want and then forgive myself. They'll call me Officer Father Motherfucker. Hey, Dad! I found some apricot wine! Whatever makes you forget, son. Your dad was a great man. A saint. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. The word Christ-like gets thrown around a lot these days, but Big Bill Murphy was. Uh, it's only ten after eight. How much longer do I have to smile and take this shit? Big Bill told me I could have his leg when he died. It's the wrong size, but the gesture alone was enough. Hey, what's more of a dad to me to my own dad? He paid for my son's bus ticket to basic training and his casket coming home. He was a million laughs at the lodge. Always singing that beer jingle. He was an unselfish lover. He took a dump in the fish tank once and said, Look, Lake Erie. Have a beer, drink a beer, want a beer, White House beer. I could tell he would have been an unselfish lover. He gave me a great deal on this little doozy. Seven minutes? Fuck. Oh, I'm sorry I snapped at you. I just got so rattled back there. I saw your grandfather in the casket, and he looked like your dad, and I just can't imagine life without him. Wow. I never knew you loved Dad. Jesus, Kevin! Why do you think I married him? I don't know, to make him stop yelling? We love each other very much. And it really upsets me that you don't get along with him. Hmm. Is that why you smoke? I don't smoke. Come on, Mom. We all know. Fine. There's one pack I keep in the liver bowl in the refrigerator. And in the toilet tank, uh, the back of the clock, your Kotex box. Why were you in my Kotex box? I was looking for cigarettes. One of you is a Russian spy. Now I will be uncle of monkey. Let me at him. Get your sticks. Get your sticks. Oh, oh cold. My long national nightmare is over. Pardon this, Gerald Ford. Oh, no. What a blow. Thanks for the tuna fish. I'm starving. And there are some name-brand sodas in that fridge.
<laughs> All the rookies fall for that one. That wasn't very nice to that man. Oh, he doesn't know what I'm doing. He's not really here. Where is he? And where's my grandpa? That's a question that philosophers have struggled over for centuries. Some believe in heaven. Some believe the spirit is passed on to another living thing. I do know that once this gentleman died, he wasn't in this body anymore. Because if he was, what I'm doing to him would make me one of history's greatest monsters. Thanks. Can I stay and watch what you do for a bit? Well, I can't see the harm. Here comes necrotic gas. Mom, you gotta stop smoking! If you die, you know what that means? We'll be stuck with Dad. We won't have a prayer. I smoke when I'm worried, and this family makes me a nervous wreck. You not getting along with your father is at the top of the list. So I'll tell you what, I'll quit smoking if you make an effort with your dad. Okay, fine. I won't call him a dildo, even when he's at his dildoiest. Thank you. It'll be tough, but I'll do it. Boy, you get along so great with your dad. You're gonna have it easy when he dies. Spare a cigarette? Sure. There's a pack in my shirt pocket. Hey, Frank. Ah, am I glad to see you fellas. I can't take any more people kissing my dead dad's ass. And I don't need anyone's fucking sympathy. Oh, Frank! Let me engulf you in the loose folds of my bad choices. <laughs> Life is so precious. You got to live every day like it's the last call at the Chinatown buffet. They'll tell you they're out of crab wontons, but they're not. They have more in the freezer. They're just too lazy to thaw them out. Oh, okay, boss. Yeah, Bob is right. We have to live for today. Yeah, fuck tomorrow. It's all we have. That's why I decided I'm going to live my dream and open a restaurant that only sells chicken skins. Skinnies! How can you afford that? It's simple. Through treachery. I encourage Mrs. Dunbarton to go ahead and sell Mohican to Aliquippa. You what? The deal closed yesterday. You told her to sell it? Bob, when we almost died on that plane, you said you were going to stop that sale. I know! But thanks to your dad dying suddenly, it made me change my mind again. My dad? You fucked us, you son of a bitch! Now calm down, let me finish. You'll keep your jobs working more hours with lower pay and no benefits. I'm gonna suffocate you with your own neck, you pelican chin motherfucker! I thought you'd be more mature about this! Fuck you! You sold us out, you traitor! Why can't you be happy for me? Well, Dad, 20 years of my life just went out the window, all because you died. So what? Now you're just gonna keep fucking me from beyond the grave? Frank, it's time. Oh, thank the son of God, I can go home now. Oh, no. It's time for you to make your eulogy for your father. My what? We discussed this on the phone on- Fucking Tuesday! Mr. Murphy, you can't go in there. The hell I can't! Holy shit! Show some respect for our fallen soil, ain't ya? Sorry. Sorry. Goddamn fucking bastard. Fucking motherfucker! Oh, honey. Yeah, you can't swallow all that anger. You gotta open up the car door and spit it out! Mind your own fucking business, all right? You know what I'm going through. Uh, I, I've been where you are. I'm just getting over my father, and he's been dead for 20 years. Wow. Hey, what did you do to deal with your anger about him? Oh, right. The whoring. <laughs> Look at those pussies. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that baby shit. Shouldn't you go back in there and pay respects to your old man's old man? I guess so. He was a dick, though. So? My mom was a douche, but she still made me yummy sandwiches. 
Family is all you got in this world. Don't ever forget it or I'll rip you a new ass, pucker! We all said she had a body that wouldn't quit, but thanks to a crosstown bus, it did. And he says, Box 16. What does that mean? I mean, his last moment on Earth, he makes me into Banachek? Fucking know it all in a turtleneck? Feeling that rage is all part of the natural process, you know? This book I found, shoved under the toilet sink in the county lockup, talks about the five stages of grief. Right now, you're in stage two. That's anger. Oh, lady, I was born in stage two. And now we send him off with a kiss. Thanks, Bobby. I'm not scared anymore. I'm glad I got to spend Halloween with you. For me, every night is Halloween. Here, trick or treat. Whoa. <laughs> Those things explode like cherry bombs in a crematorium. Grieving is painful, but you gotta go through it to get to the other side. That means you gotta let that anger out. There's no shame in being human. Thank you. Need a hanky? No, I'm good. Plus, I don't know where that's been. Yeah, you do. Dad, you selfish bastard. You ruin my life and then you die on me? God damn you! Fuck you! Man, fuck you! I could be in this neighborhood! This ain't no sundown county, you redneck motherfucker! Hey, Frank Murphy, sorry for your loss. <laughs> so much better, Sue. A wise prostitute told me it was okay to express my feelings. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder why I try. I've been asked to say a few words about my dad. Here goes. William Francis Murphy was born on March 14th, 1901. A celebration of life of a man who was mostly good. Up in heaven now, selling God hammers in wood. Goodbye, Sky Grandpa. Thank you. You've been a really sad crowd today. You doing all right? Aside from hearing that 20 minute song, I'm fine. Maureen, your bowling party is back on. It was One for you, and one for me. <sighs> I'm ready to settle up on lane 14. Murphy. All right, sure thing. Uh, there's gonna be an extra $20 charge for the damage the diaper kit caused. <laughs> this here watermelon dead god by it. Hey, no sweat. I'm in a good mood. And oh yeah, your balls arrived. What balls? The bowling balls you ordered on the 23rd? Yeah, they just came in. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Uh, maybe a different Mr. Murphy ordered them. I'm not sure who it was. Me neither. <clears throat> Whoever bought these, I sure as hell don't know. Wow, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I guess some lucky guy and his dad are gonna really love them. You know, we have a father and son.